Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. And what I have here is the Red Magic 3S, which is a gaming phone, and it has a fairly interesting feature in that it has active cooling. That means it has a fan on it for cooling down the processor. So the question today is this, how does this fan alter the sustained performance of this device? Well, if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you, I do have a full review of this phone here on the Gary Explains channel. This is an under $500 gaming device with active cooling, a 90 hertz display, and a Snapdragon 855 processor. So if you wanna find out about that, then please do check out the video. Now, the problem of heat distribution and cooling is true for every high performance processor, whether that's in your Android phone, whether that's in your iPhone, in a laptop, in a tablet, in a desktop PC, they all need to get rid of the heat so they can carry on working at their top performance. Now, depending on the device, there are different methods. So for example, on a desktop, there'll be a huge big heat sink and a massive fan, maybe even some fans on the side of the cases, all designed to get rid of that heat as quick as possible. On a smartphone, traditionally, it's done with passive cooling. That's just what comes out through the chassis and kind of out into the air. Now on the Red Magic 3, there is a fan. There is actually some uh, vents here at the back for intake and a little uh, vent here on the side for the air to come out of and a fan that actually runs and actually sucks through the air to try to get this airflow going over the processor to keep it cool. So what I've done to test this is the following. I take the device and I run it through Speed Test G without the fan switched on. Then I turn on a special version of the Unity test that I've got that runs for 30 minutes, non-stop 3D flyover going on, simulating playing a tough 3D game, something let's say like Fortnite or, or PUBG or something like that. And then after 30 minutes, I then run Speed Test G again, again with the fan off. So fan off, 30 minutes with the fan on, so that it keeps the device cool while it's doing that hard work, and then run Speedtest G again with the fan off. And so that's what I've done. And what I've got is I've got two videos, one of the Speedtest G running at the beginning, before the heavy workload, and one with Speedtest G running at the end, after the heavy workload. And then we're gonna put them side by side to see what is the difference in the performance. Okay, so you ready? Let's go. Okay, we have the Red Magic 3S, which is running from cool. On the left-hand side, we have the Red Magic 3S, which has been after half an hour of running my 3D Unity test constantly, so it's quite warm. In fact, it was 40 something degrees, according to the internal temperature, is on the right-hand side. And at the moment, we can see, uh, there we go, a slight lead by the cooler one. Now, this is to be expected, but the real question is how much is there gonna be a difference between the cool one and the warm one as we're now into the compression test, and we can see the cooler one now is building up that lead, it's gone into the 16th thread test and it's doing quite well through that 16th thread test, it's almost halfway through that 16th thread test as the warmer one, the hotter one, has now gone into there. Is that running slow? It's difficult to tell at this point, but the one on the left hand side has now finished that, it's now into the mixed CPU, GPU section of the test as it goes through the blur test and only now, only now is it finishing the uh, 16th thread test on the right hand side, it's now into the blur test as the cooler one has gone into the infinity scrolling list. And of course, after this comes the uh, smoke particle test. This will give us a frame rate. It'll be interesting to see what the different frame rates are between these two devices. What's it going to be on the left? 19 frames a second there, 20 frames a second. As that now goes into the unity test, what we're going to see on the right hand side, it's now into the smoke particle test and we'll see what its frame rate is now. Is it going to be different? 20? Oh, 20, 20 the same. So that's good. That's a good sign. But however, the lead is significant on the left hand side. It's really gone through this unity test. It's going to go right now to the end of that valley and that's it. It will be the end of its run. Here we go. There's the Final time, one minute, 33.7. And now we're just waiting a few more extra moments as the hotter one goes round, turns round, comes into that valley. What's its final time gonna be? This is, come on, come on, this is taking longer than I won't want. Come on, what's it gonna be? There we go, one minute, 48.2. Okay, so that is a 14 and something second difference. So let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. 
So clearly the cooler Red Magic 3S, one with one minute 33.7, and the warmer one after that half an hour of playing intensive 3D gaming came in at 148.2. That's 14.5% uh, seconds later, which is a 15% difference in performance. So where do we get that 15% difference? Well, if we look at the CPU times 47.5 compared to 54.1, that is a 6.6 .6 second difference. And then when we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, starting with that blur test, 25.6 compared to 30.7, another 5.1 seconds added on there. So 6.6 .6 seconds difference, 5.1 seconds difference. And then finally in that UG test again, which is basically the test that they were, that the hot one was running for all that half an hour, we get 20.6 versus 23.5, which is a 2.9, almost three second difference. And when you add up all of those uh, differences there, you you get that difference of 133.7 to 148.2. So I must confess that was not the result I was expecting. Now I have conducted this test three separate times in different ways the phone standing so there's optimal airflow sometimes laying down on that blue plastic that you see sometimes standing just up straight so there's air going all the way around it and I've tried it three different times and these is actually the same result that I get every single time within just a few fractions of a second so basically what we learn from this is that when it's under heavy heavy load the fan does not actually help in bringing down that, uh, that uh, temperature. However, my feeling is that if it was under slightly less load, it would actually have a greater effect. But in this test, it didn't actually do uh, much of a difference. In fact, we get a 15% drop of performance on the other Android phone, the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro that I've tested, and that video is also on the channel. And also we see a 15% drop in performance on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So 15% seems to be a fairly uh, consistent number across now three different devices, three different manufacturers, three different ways of cooling, three different everything, actually 15% drop in performance. Okay, my name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you do like these Speed Test G videos. And there's a whole channel, a whole channel with all of those videos over there. Speed Test G. There's also a Twitter account for it, Speed Test Underbar G. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.